Hello, I'm Jim Coleman. I'm the President and CEO of the Prince George's County Economic Development Corporation. I'm here today with A.K. Adams. He's the President and CEO of the Potomac Entertainment Opportunities Company, and he is uh, working on a major project here in Prince George's County. It's the National Studios, and we're going to learn more about it in this show. A.K., why don't you tell us a little, little bit about your company and what it's all about? Thanks for having us here, Jim. Uh, Potomac Entertainment Opportunities is a subsidiary of Benjamin Banneriger Development Corporation, which is a long, well-established development corporation uh, based in D.C. and active in the region. Mm -hmm. And it was formed to specifically cultivate opportunities in the film and television space uh, in this market. Uh, so our flagship project is National Studios, which will be the first full-service production facility in the region and we'll be working to develop educational opportunities, job opportunities, production opportunities to take advantage of the booming growth in the production industry that's been happening in the region over the last few years. Uh, if you're familiar sure. with House of Cards and Veeps, mm -hmm. there have been several award-winning television shows that have been filming in this area and right. currently on national television in the U.S. now. There are about seven major, major, major network shows sure. that are set in D.C. Very few of them shoot here. So right. with all this interest, uh, we were looking at the fact that with all these projects that are coming and shooting in the region, there's not really a state-of-the-art home for them to right. operate from. And with the success and expansion of the Maryland Film Incentive, my partners and I felt that now is really the time to make a capital investment to build the infrastructure that these productions need to come and stay for more than a couple of weeks to really call this area home. So it sounds like you're bringing Hollywood to Prince George's County. That's our hope. And it's not just Hollywood. It's the Really, the growth in the film industry is in the international market. So this is one of the reasons that we're particularly interested in this China trade mission. Uh, the U.S. box office is about $10 billion, but internationally, that's where more and more people are going to see the movies overseas. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that is the real growth area of the business. And so it's not just Hollywood. We want to bring Cannes. We want to bring sure. the world uh, sure. to get to know Prince George's County and to come and work here and to share their ex expertise. I think you've also shared that with all of the different types of uh, devices and ways that people can actually see film, that it's expanded so much that that's driving some of the growth. Can you talk about that? Yes, and that's one of the things that we'll incorporate into our project is that now it's not just about going to see movies in the theater. You can watch them on your phone. So on the, on the consumption right. end of the equation, there's a lot more plays to enjoy filmed entertainment, sure. which is one of the things that's driving the growth, you know, on mm -hmm. planes, on the sure. phones, streaming on access. devices. Improved access. Yes. Versus and 10 years ago, you had to really go to a movie theater to actually yep. see. Or have a cable subscription, and all of that's changing now. Right. And on the other side of the equation, in how this content is produced, mm -hmm. you can do a lot uh, with a much less than because of digital technology mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that will incorporate it in, into this facility with virtual production virtual stages in addition to the traditional uh, film sets mm -hmm. uh, which is still a strong part of the industry there's also a lot of expansion in digital animation uh, in hybrid technologies that combine computer generated imagery with traditional filmmaking so our vision is to provide a platform for all of those arts to be explored and developed uh, here in the county. Uh, the first phase of the project will have a state-of-the-art virtual production facility. And uh, I don't know if you remember, there was a show called Pan Am that came out a few years ago. And they did most of that. Uh, they had to create a lot of period sets, had to go back in time to the mid-60s. And so what they used on that show was a virtual production technology which enabled them to superimpose their backgrounds and their sets and their textures sure. on, uh, it's basically green screen, mm -hmm. plus the added dimension of being able to create any environment that you can imagine sure. digitally. So, so if you needed to show a desert in the background or an ocean, yeah. you could do that all here in Prince George's County, yeah. the new and facility that you're looking to build. You know, you see a little version of that, like when you, any weather display, anytime mm -hmm. you look at somebody sure. during the weather, you know, they're, they're not actually standing in front of the map. Right. This takes it to a whole other level. So right. if we applied that kind of technology, you and I could be sitting on the moon, right. and on the desert, anywhere. Right. anywhere. And uh, what that does is it brings down the cost of production, right. especially for developing pilots for music videos, and it opens the creative palette to a much wider uh, range of story ideas, right. 
right. that can be realized for a much lower cost. Right. So this has an appeal to established industry players, but also to up and coming filmmakers. And we're working with Rhonda Dallas from Prince George's Arts and Humanities mm -hmm. Commission on bringing this technology in to local artists. There's a lot of local producers and right. local production companies. And what we hope is that by bringing the Hollywood level of production to this area, that filmmakers from DC, from Prince George's County, from this region right. can have a chance to tell their stories and have access to that same level of technology that players in Hollywood and around the world do. Well, AK, this sounds like a very exciting project that's got a lot of growth potential, especially in the industry that you're in. What are the objectives that you have set for this upcoming trade mission with County Executive Baker to China? We're very excited about this trade mission to China because we have, through one of our board members, relationships with Chinese investors and we've been dealing with them through their offices here. This mm -hmm. gives us a chance to meet with them directly in person sure. as we're going to go to China and actually meet with them. Right. It also will enable us to open the... Uh, to open some new discussions, to meet some new partners. We're very excited to start with what we have, but we, with a project of this size, you really, uh, we welcome all the support that we can find. So from investors, from sure. potential partners, we're really looking forward to uh, reaching out to potentially new investors mm -hmm. and to create some new relationships with distribution and production companies uh, based in China as well. Sounds good. What size is the investment opportunity? The project itself is $125 million, and the equity that we'll be seeking to raise is in the range of 25 uh, to 50 million, mm -hmm. uh, because we'll have a significant EB-5 component. Right. Uh, we'll uh, we're actually we'll be able to raise up to 70 million, mm -hmm. and it depends on the appetite that we can cultivate for the project. But okay. we really are seeking in that 25 to 50 million range uh, to Help support your 125 million dollar total facility, and that would include the purchase of the land and the construction of your new facility yes, and the investment that you'll make. Exactly. So mm -hmm. that includes land acquisition, mm -hmm. uh, development and design. Uh, also a key point of this is uh, marketing the facility to right. the industry internationally because we really do want to bring the world uh, in here and that is an important part of the strategy for the project. I see. Good deal. As far as for the partners, can you dive into that a little bit more on the types of partners that could add a lot of value and that would have a lot of success by partnering with you? Well, for one, typical real estate investors, investors that are familiar with real estate, this is essentially a mixed-use real estate development, so mm -hmm. investors that are comfortable with Prince George's County and the amazing growth that's happening here mm -hmm. would find this project to have a unique story behind it because the what's driving the attraction here is going to be the presence of the production right. uh, facility. Right. Uh, there would also be... I think you were saying about distribution partners and... Uh, uh, film production partners, uh, actual employees that may have a certain set of skills. Yes, one of the things that we're hoping to establish on this mission is uh, we'd like to find ways to bring the projects that would be produced at the studio to the Chinese market. Right. And so from our understanding that's international co-production agreements uh, with Chinese production companies are an important part of that. Uh, Chinese distribution, that's the single uh, fastest growing component right. of the international box office sure. of the Chinese market. So we would love to find a way to work with Chinese talent sure. to produce uh, and co-produce projects at this facility that could find distribution in China and reach a Chinese audience. And throughout Asia and throughout the world. Throughout the world, ideally. Well, that's fantastic. For any investor that is seeing this show or any partner, how do they get in touch with you? The most direct way right now is uh, we'll have a website set up for the project. My email is ak at xxicr.com. Uh, What's your phone number? 202-596-8161. Okay. And that'll reach me anywhere in the world, even in China. Any given time. There. Well, yeah. <laughs> we hope your phone starts ringing today before you even take <laughs> off, before we take off on September the 4th. But County Executive Baker is thrilled that you're joining us on this uh, tour. And we want to do everything in the world to make sure that you meet with really great investors, potential investors, to be able to launch this great project. And we want to thank you again. And just in, in closing, I just want to add that we've been looking at this region uh, as, a, as a home for this project for years. And it's the responsiveness 
and the engagement of the team at of your team at the Economic right. Development Corporation here that really made us think, you know, we're going to get this done here. Prince Absolutely. George is the place where this is going to happen. Absolutely. So we're delighted to be a part of this. Well, this is a big step, and we want to be your partner. Thank you so much, AK. Thanks for having me. Best wishes. We'll see you in China.